What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Crimson Connective. I'm Haley Berry. And in today's episode, we sit down with another newcomer spotlight, wide receiver Mikey Matthews. Matthews was a four-star recruit from the 2023 class and ranked number 30th overall at the wide receiver position, according to Rivals. In today's episode, he talks about the family culture at Utah, similarities between him and Britton Covey, and also the newcomer that he's looking forward to play alongside this upcoming season. With no further ado, here is Mikey Matthews. All right, here with uh, newcomer Mikey Matthews. Mikey, thanks for taking the time with us, man. Of course, appreciate you guys having me out. Absolutely, man, dude. So you are a newcomer, but at the same time, you were here in spring ball, man. So uh, before I kick into like the typical stuff to ask, how do you feel like that went, man? I uh, felt like the spring was pretty, like, went well, went, uh, went well, sorry about that, went well. Um, you know, I came in here not knowing what to expect, um, came in in January. First day I've, I've ever seen snow, too, so it was a lot to handle, but I feel like I just took it day by day and just kept being the same dude, so I felt like I handled it, uh, handled it pretty well. Dude, what, what was the first thought you had when, uh, when you not even saw the snow, but were, like, right in it? I wanted to do snow angels for sure, but... Um, I just well, I threw snowballs on my mom for sure and, uh, and my sister, but um, it was it was fun. It was definitely what I imagined, it, but it got tiring after a while. But it was fun. <laughs> uh, so, Mikey, what were the biggest attributes when you were going through the recruiting process that stood out to you about Utah that made you choose the Utes? The biggest attributes that stood out to me the most at Utah was probably like the family aspect and how everything is just like family wise here. Like everyone's just brotherhood here and just. Felt like the first day I got here, I felt like I was just brought in and I wasn't really excluded from everything. And um, another big thing was just how well they develop you and just how well they can produce NFL guys. So I just want to be able to get developed and just be, become like that guy here. So hopefully that's what I can do here. Awesome. It's so uh, this is a fun little question for everybody, right? So EA Sports College Football, it's going to be coming out during your time you know, with the Utes and everything. So uh, when that comes out, I want you to describe to me what your playing style is as if it's on that video game. I want to hear your best attributes that are going to be on that game. And I also want to hear your overall rating that you're going to give yourself, man. Let's let's hear it. <laughs> overall rating is probably going to be like a 68 for sure. Nothing crazy. Humble, man. You know, 68, but it's going to get boosted by the end of the year for sure. Yeah, bro. well, so end, end of the year. End, end of the year, year it's going to get boosted, but, like, you know, they're going to they gonna do me dirty with the rating for sure just because I'm a freshman, and, you know. But um, I think, like, playing style-wise, um, shoot, I'll probably just be able to <laughs> – I don't even know. Um, Speed. All right, yeah, all right, attribute for sure, what, like – Attribute wise, probably just um, all purpose yards, you know, be able to punt return, kick return, and then be able on the receiving end, be able to play outside slot. You know, sometimes even in the running back, if I need, need to just for like jet sweeps and stuff like that. So probably just be able to be utilized everywhere and just be really versatile. Okay. So end of the year. Oh, yeah. End of the What's year. What's your rating? End of the year. Shoot. If, like the way how my goals and all that's supposed to go out, probably like 88. I'll take it, man. I like it's that. It's going to be boosted we'll, for sure. We'll, we'll hold you to that, huh? 88 for sure. We'll, we'll hold you to that. Yeah. I like it. So, um, you know, what is it that you're most looking forward to this season? Just be able to play with the guys. I'm excited. You know, I'm getting just jittery just already for game one. But um, being able to play with the guys and make memories and go through fall camp with all of them and just be ready to kick some butt in the season. So... Mikey, um, on and off the field, um, what are your biggest motivators, man? On the field, what, what motivates me is probably my family. You know, being able to wear my last name on my back of my jersey is a really big representation for me. So being able to just play for my family, then off the field is pretty much just I'm like I'm just motivated by myself. Just you know, I want to prove myself right that I can do what I can do. You know, just be able to say what I've been doing and just do it. You know. Absolutely, man. So, um, when it comes to Salt Lake City and the Utah football program, what is it that reminds you the most of, of home? Um, I got to think about this one. Probably the coaching staff. The coaching staff just reminded me of my high school coaching staff, just being able like to really care for you and be, have that genuine connection and, you know, 
it's not really all about football here. I mean, obviously it is, but like coaching, like coaching staff wise, like they want to know you on a deeper connection. Like I feel like I could invite Coach Wooden and all the offensive staff to my wedding if I really had to. So I feel like it's just that deep and it's just beyond football. They better get those invitations, they man. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're your they family, will. what, the next four years? But they will. I mean, when, if, if, I, if I ever get married and when I ever get married. <laughs> but, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dude, so um, when the pads are off, what are we going to find Mikey doing? <laughs> In my room playing the games. I'm just playing. I play Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty, Rainbow. Well, I said that already. Play Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Madden 2K, whatever. Y'all need the work, and I can give you the work, but I'm usually just playing video games, really just chilling in my room. Sure, man. You, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you take on the teammates plenty with that, so uh, you hold your own? Or, uh, yeah, who, definitely who's hold. The yeah. Who's the best on the team, maybe? Uh, we don't know who the best on the team is. Everyone's just so scattered. We played a little bit in the, in the players' lounge, but the controllers are broken, so you can't really say you're better than someone when the controllers are broken. Mikey, that, that sounds like an excuse. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not making the excuses. It's everyone else. <laughs> I'll be running them in UFC, too. Don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, man. So, um, pregame playlist. What's, here? what's, what's on your playlist? Um, I'm chill before the game. Probably some, some raw wave. Just chill. Get me in the zone. A um, little bit of raw wave. I mean, right before the game, I'll listen to, like, Dreams and Nightmares, get me amped, you know, something. Something get me going right before the game. But usually, though, pregame, I'm just chill, like, R&B, really. It's, it's, a, it's a big deal, right? Because it's like, you do, you want to lock yourself in before, before the game with just, like, getting that mind right. And then, mm. just, yeah, as, as, soon as, it's, as soon as it's about there, yeah. No, yeah, because you don't want to, like, overhype yourself and then lose all the adrenaline. Lose all the adrenaline. You don't want to lose the adrenaline. So, so I just chill. Ease yourself into a, into a game mode. Absolutely, man. So here's a, here, here's a fun one for you. Okay, so uh, I know you're confident in yourself. I know you're also humble. You can't say yourself on this. So uh, when it comes down to it, um, who is the newcomer that you're most excited to see that the fans should get really excited about? I mean, <clears throat> I just go over guys Zip, but my boy Zip, um, you guys should be really excited for him. He He's about to... He's about, a, he's about a bluff this year for sure. He plays receiver also with me. He plays on the outside. We could be that duo. That could be really scary in this NCAA. So. Who's going to have more receiving yards? Definitely me just because I'm in the slot. So I get, I'm able to get more of the, like, the quick game stuff and just, okay. just, just sweeps. But he's, he's play okay. outside. But um, for sure me, though. Hum, <laughs> that was a sensible answer. Props for that. Like, yeah, <laughs> <fans I'm you laughs> But that's what happens when you're in the slot. You get more touches, more more yards, and all that. But you've been watching a lot of Britton Covey, then, haven't you? Yeah, a little bit. Trying to trying to get those choice routes down like he did, and definitely taking tips from his punt returning because I'm trying to take over on that like he did. So be that game changer. For sure. So typically, I'd have one more question for you, but I want to ask you about that because everybody just says they're like, you know, he's not at that stage yet yeah. because he's a freshman. But Mikey Matthews reminds us of Britton Covey. There's so many aspects to your game that reminds the program of Britton Covey. Mm. So just talk to me about your similarities and maybe like some of the things that you're studying and trying to work on and some of the things that maybe he's giving you the best advice for. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, in the receiver room, we have a whole bunch of cut-ups of him. So I'm very blessed to be able to go through those and just watch his every move, every step, every gameplay he had um, here at Utah. So, but seeing his – like – attributes and similarities with me and him we're both we're both very quick you know be it, we're both being oh sorry we're both very good at being able to ma manipulate defenders and isolate them and being able to say we're going one way but actually going the other way so but I always just try to watch him to see what he was really good at and he was really good at excelling or not excelling um accelerating yeah no nah, not even accelerating he was really good at just being able to isolate defenders and get them in, like, uncomfortable situations and push, push their toes and just get them on their heels. For sure, man. So lastly, okay, uh, finish the sentence for me. Game day at Rice Eccles is going to be? Going to be lit. We are going to turn up for you guys. I promise you every game is going to be a blast. We want every game sold out, even away games. I need you guys to travel. So we're going to turn up for y'all. We're going we're gonna to win this. 
We're going to go to the college playoffs. We're going to win it. We're going to win whatever we got to win. It's going to be lit. Awesome. Hey, Mike. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>